don't mean to make this sound like a loaded question. I don't want to lead you. Did, did you stick to the same game plan that you had for game two? Um, we tried to. Um, we kind of stuck with the same game plan. And, um, I feel like it's some, sometimes in the game, uh, we didn't get to it, uh, get to where we wanted to get to. Uh, we slowed the offense down, and, or we got to a little late in the shot clock and stuff like that. So um, we got to watch the film and uh, know what we're going to get into and get into it uh, a little quicker. I mean, you feasted, as you know, at the end of game one to most of game two. Were there, was, the, was there more congestion you saw? Or what, what were they taking away that you had? Um, just a lot of switching. Uh, so uh, last time we put uh, different defenders on me, uh, but I feel like uh, we started switching uh, their defense up a little bit, and uh, I feel like that slowed us down. Uh, so we got to get into uh, different things, and they switch like that and uh, create different ad uh, advantages. Hey, Evan, you had to come off the court for a little bit for to treat something that happened in the quarter. How important is it for you, especially in this time of the playoffs, to be on the court for your team? Um, I feel like it's very important, uh, especially as like one of the only bigs uh, on the team right now that's uh, really playing. And, um, so I try to be out there as much as possible. Uh, just tweak my ankle a little bit, so I had to come out, rest it, and uh, get back moving and stuff. So I uh, got back out there and just try to get my all. Did you? In the game two, you guys won the rebounding battle. In the games that you lost in the series, you guys lost the rebounding battle. How important do you think that is and your impact is on the board, especially for you guys? Uh, yeah, that's a big emphasis. Uh, I feel like we just got a team rebound. Um, Darn's got a box out, I got a box out. We just got to somehow come up with the ball and the 50 50 ball as well. So um, if we win that, uh, it could be a different game. Um, Evan, how is your ankle feeling first off? Uh, it's alright. Um, and to off Ethan's question in terms of the rebounding battle, they held you to single digits and to kind of go off what Joe was saying too. Did, was it something different they were throwing at you just to kind of prevent you from crashing the glass or just getting those second chance or just limiting those second chance opportunities? I feel like it was definitely emphasis on their side uh, to try and keep me off the glass uh, and uh, try to go in there every single time. Uh, sometimes you just don't come up with it. Um, but yeah, they did a good job of just uh, tracking me uh, throughout uh, the possession. And you know, when the guards shot the layups, uh, they would definitely find me and uh, try to keep me off the glass. Uh, what's the biggest difference between the way they were defending you in game two and then today in game three? Um, just a lot of switching, uh, like I said. Uh, they, they just kept switching and uh, keeping uh, pretty, pretty Big defenders on me throughout the uh, game. Uh, when I had some switches, I uh, try to take advantage. Uh, but sometimes they'll just switch out from the opposite side and uh, get another big uh, defender on me. So, uh, how does like that change how your mindset is in those situations? We just gotta find different advantages and uh, and take those advantages uh, instead of trying to do the same thing over and over. Offensively, for you, it seemed like you had another sort of uh, night where you're just really aggressive, and early on they're really getting you involved. Just how much does that boost your confidence when you're sort of involved early in the game to kind of carry that throughout the rest of the game? Uh, boost it a lot. Um, that's uh, really my goal uh, from the end of game one on to now. Um, just trying to be as aggressive as possible. I feel like that helps helps my team a lot. Uh, opens the floor for everybody else and. Uh, that's, that's really my mindset throughout this, the rest of the series is just trying to be aggressive, get some spots, and uh, uh, shoot those shots. And with Dean on the floor, JB, I noticed, went to a couple lineups, you know, third quarter, fourth quarter, that were all about, like, spacing. Just what did you think he brought? What what additions, I guess, did he kind of bring to you guys from, like, what you could do out on the floor from a lineup standpoint tonight? Um, another bigger defender. Uh, but that's big for us. Uh, he, he plays a really good defense and then also just spacing the floor like you said. Uh, he's a he's a great uh, pick and popper and uh, that stresses the defense and uh, puts strain on them and uh, we could take advantage of that for sure. Anything else for Rob? Last one Ethan. We've seen you take defensive rebounds and get out into the break on your own and sometimes you 
take it into the paint and sometimes you're able to assist on different guys and get them open. How does getting out into the break and creating your own transition to opportunities have helped your game? Um, I feel like that's big for us. Uh, it creates early opportunities for us. And, um, nine times out of ten, we get something good out of it. So you got to just keep rebounding and keep pushing in. Uh, just keep a uh, good place for us. Is that something that has grown in your confidence this season to bring the ball up the floor? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, it was definitely an emphasis uh, throughout the whole season. Just um, keep bringing that to the game and um, keep doing my thing, attacking when I, when I see fit uh, and, or get into action. And then um, that just creates a lot of pace for us as well. So uh, I'm just keep trying to do that as much as I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.